Today we're at the Danbury Farmer Market and we're gonna make a complete meal that can be eaten for lunch or dinner using mostly the ingredients found right here at the Danbury Farmer Market. So we're going to make a fish taco with homemade pico and side salad and street corn. Now, if you work with me at all, you'll know all I talk about is making your meals complete. What does that mean? That means make the majority of your meals have fruits and or vegetables. Today we're making a lunch or dinner meal, so we're not gonna focus too much on fruit. Make one fourth of it some sort of protein and make the other fourth some sort of whole grain. So, if we're making fish tacos, that's gonna look like our fish is gonna be our protein. We're gonna have a ton of vegetables, I'll get there. And our whole grain is gonna be that corn tortilla, which can also be replaced for a whole wheat tortilla, uh, depending really upon your preferences. So for starters, some things we're gonna need are peppers. Peppers you can either saute and add inside the taco for some freshness, um, or you can put them inside your pico. So it really depends again on your flavor preference. Doesn't matter the color, the more the barrier. They always say that more colors mean that there's more antioxidants. So here it looks like we've got some red, green, and even orange. So we're gonna pick these up and include these in our recipe. Another thing to add flavor, again, all about your preferences, is some fresh hot peppers. I love to add these in my um, pico to give it a little bit of spice. I use the garlic as well as the peppers. Makes it a little bit more spicy. Um, but you can also cut these up and top these with your, uh, on top of your tacos as well. Okay, so and if we move over here, you will see we have our tomatoes. Now you really can't go wrong. You can use any type of tomato that you want. Cherry, heirloom, large tomatoes like these. Um, the best part about making a homemade pico is that you can chop it up. You barely need to measure the ingredients. Just make sure you've got what's there. Throw it in your blender, um, pulse it a few times, and you've got fresh pico. Um, so we'll get a, fruit to a few tomatoes. And then, I did mention, as part of our meal, we will have some corn. Now, we're gonna make a street corn in this recipe just because I think street corn tastes a little better, but usually that has mayo, um, sour cream, some ingredients that maybe are not as favorable. So we're gonna take the flavor profile of street corn and make it just a little bit healthier so we can meet all our nutrition needs and goals with this recipe. And then last thing that we'll do, well, I did mention for extra vegetables, we will do some fresh lettuce, maybe use the leftover uh, tomatoes that we've got over there, top with a little bit of olive oil and lime. It can be the same lime that we've used in our pico or on top of our uh, fish tacos. Um, so really you can see the goal is to just do one grocery shop or one farmer's market shop um, and you're good to go for the night. And then, if we go over here, more than that. We'll go perfectly in our pico to give it a little bit of spice and more flavor. 